Hi friends, welcome to Kodai Linux. I am your facilitator Muradi. So today's session objectives is that we are going to learn about the WC filter. WC stands for word count. Okay, before uh, beginning with today's session, I want to put you a question. Just think about it. I want to save to a file called file list the list of files in the current directory that is the names of all the files in the current directory the list of files okay from the ls output i want to save to a file called file list but i also want to display number of files in the current directory on the monitor just the number of files in the current directory i want to display on the monitor using a single pipe sequence so it should be a single pipe sequence which should also which should save to a file called file list the list of files in the current directory and also display the number of files in the current directory on the monitor just think about it okay at the end of the session uh, towards the end of the session i will give you the solution okay just think about it okay meanwhile let us uh, go ahead with the wc command wc it prints new line word and byte counts that is number counts of number of new lines meaning what number of lines in the file number of words number of bytes okay for each file <coughs> so syntax is wc and options if any and without any arguments because wc is a filter so you can issue wc command without any arguments okay wc followed by options if any and followed by the list of files like file 1, file 2, file 3. In that case WC will read from those files, uh, read the contents of those files and it will give the output based on the options we supply. WC options uh, and uh, in the second example that is WC options file 1, file 2, file 3, the output would be displayed on the monitor. Okay, in the first WC without any arguments, it will read input from the keyboard and display output on the monitor. In the third example, like third uh, syntax example, WC file 1, file 2, options if any, followed by file 1, file 2, file 3, etc. Greater than file new. Here what happens? It will read the contents of file 1, file 2, file 3, etc. Do the task and its output it is going to write to the file new. So this is output redirection. And in the next example, what we are doing? As a part of a message we are displaying, we are displaying the number of lines in the current directory. WC with hyphen L option, hyphen L will, WC with a hyphen L option would display the number of lines in the current directory because we are piping the output of ls to wc ok so as a using command substitution we are displaying the line count uh, with regard to the number of files in the current directory uh, as a part of the message ok i want to reiterate what i told in the last session like one more point i want to add like whichever commands whichever command ok uh, is able to send output send its output to the standard output file it can do the output redirection it can send the output to the pipe also ok and whichever command has the capability of reading from the keyboard reading from the its input from the standard input file that command has got capability of reading from the pipe and reading from the uh, input redirection ok and one more thing is that the command which can write to the monitor ok that command can also be that command out, uh, commands output can also be realized using the command substitution because command substitution what we are doing rather than displaying output on the monitor we are able to assign the output to a variable right so variable name equal to within command substitution that command which generates output right and as a part of the message also 
we can uh, execute the command using the command substitution that is yet another point i wanted to add okay so let us now proceed to working on the dollar prompt let us start working with the wc command so wc is a filter that is the first basic thing we need to understand so wc stands for word count even though wc stands for word count we can count the number of words number of lines number of characters and number of bytes from the given input file okay fine now let us understand how wc works wc is basically a filter so you can execute wc without any arguments in that case it expects input from the keyboard okay so let me type some input okay i have entered two lines of input i am pressing enter and i am pressing control d to specify end of my input file eof it is an eof signal okay control d sends an end of file signal so control d i am typing once as soon as i press control d i am able to see three uh, output correct three columns of output what does the three columns of output mean so 2 7 and 47 i am able to see 2 refers to the number of lines in my input the number of lines in my input file is two lines right there are two new line characters okay after the at the end of first line there is there would be a new line character at the end of the second line there is a new line character so number of lines is 2 number of words is 7 there are seven words in my input file and number of characters is 47 this number of characters 47 is including the new line characters now let me issue wc command with some file name as an input file let me look at some file let me give any particular file okay clear cat gh1 okay it has got some contents wc gh1 what does it do so 42764 gh1 what does it mean in gh1 file there are four lines 27 words 164 characters and the name of the file itself so now if we want to specifically get the number of words only or number of lines only or number of characters only or number of bytes only what we need to do so we would be understanding about that let us go to the man page of wc command man wc man page has got some sections name synopsis description name tells about the name of the command followed by a brief explanation about what that command does synopsis tells about the syntax of the command description is a detailed description of the command and various options that the command supports you have the hyphen c option you have the hyphen m option also hyphen c print the bytes byte counts hyphen m print the character counts what is the difference between byte counts and character counts there are three kinds of character sets single byte character sets double byte character sets and multi byte character sets what is the difference between these character sets single byte character sets every character is of one byte double byte character set every character is of double bytes multi byte character set a character may be of multiple bytes you can uh, google and try to understand what is the uh, understand further uh, what is the double byte and multi byte character sets let us suppose we have a file which has used a double byte character set or multi byte character set and we are checking number of bytes and number of characters then they would differ the number of characters and number of bytes would differ the number of bytes would be more than the number of characters if it is a if it is if, if we are checking a file 
which has got double byte character sets or multi byte character sets if it is a single if it is a file which has got a single byte character set then hyphen c option and hyphen m option would return the same result okay the number of bytes and number of characters would be same otherwise it would be different if it is multi byte or double byte character sets hyphen l is number of new line counts hyphen capital l print the maximum display with hyphen w number of words now let us start working with the wc command wc hyphen l gh1 it displays the number of lines in the file gh1 wc hyphen m gh1 this is number of bytes wc hyphen w sorry hyphen c number of characters gh1 sorry wc hyphen c gh1 164 so both number of bytes and number of characters is same because this text file whatever we created it is of single byte character set hence the number of bytes and number of characters is same let us see how do we display a particular information like the number of files in the current directory all as a part of the message we can take the help of command substitution like number of files in the current directory or is the number of files right it's a count dollar bracket either you can give dollar bracket or backtick ls pipe wc hyphen l close the double quote what we are doing here as a part of the message we are display we are executing okay yeah the piping sequence ls pipe wc hyphen l so ls pipe wc hyphen l what it will do it will ls will output the number the list of files in the current directory it will place that output on the pipe and wc will read from the pipe the list of files which ls has output and wc will count the number of lines so when i execute this echo command now first what shell does shell will look for the meta character double quote is a meta character so when it sees the double quote meta character it will look for the corresponding closing double quote it is there so within the opening and closing double quote whatever is there shell will understand that it is a message it's a string okay so it will further parse the string it will further parse the message and look for if any other meta character is there yes it finds dollar bracket when it finds dollar bracket in that it understands that when it sees dollar opening bracket it looks parses and looks for the corresponding closing bracket yes it finds it so whatever is between do dollar followed by open bracket and between the open bracket and closing bracket whatever content is there shell will understand that it is a command sequence and shell further parses that command sequence and finds that there is another meta character pipe so when it sees this pipe meta character as soon as shell sees this piping meta character it creates a special buffer called pipe buffer and then shell executes the left hand side command lhs command is what ls command it executes ls command it shell places the output of ls command in the pipe and allows wc command to read from the pipe and wc will do its task and this output gives a specific output shell what it will do it will place the output as a part of the message and then it will give the control to echo so shell is the master here so all these tasks are done by the shell so um, i believe you would have understood this now let us execute this command number of files in the current directory is 24 i believe you would have understood about the wc command now coming to the question at the beginning of our session so what was my question let me quickly repeat it i want to save to a file called file list the list of files in the current directory but want to just display the number of files in the current directory on the monitor using a single piping sequence how do we do that 
So do you remember the T command that we discussed in the last session? So those who have not seen that previous session, T command, you can go through that. And I will add that link in this in the description, description section of this video. So let us see how do we do that. Okay. So first, I, first of all, I want to get the file list. So what I should do? LS. And of course, I want to pipe it. Right? I want to pipe it. Then only I, I can make the other command to work on it. And you remember about the T command. So what I want to do? I want to store the file list in a file. So file list. Okay. I will create a file called my file list. So what T will do? Let us recall. What T will do? Whatever input T receives, whatever input file T receives, it will send the contents as output to the file specified as argument as well as the standard output file. So here when we are specifying a pipe, what it will do? Whatever it is supposed to send to the standard output file, it will send it to the pipe. It will send it to the pipe. Now I am giving wc hyphen l. What happens? See ls output would be sent to t. t uh, what it will do? It will send that, write that output to whatever input it reads from the pipe. It will write it to my file list. It will create a file called my file list in the current directory. It will write to my file list as well as it will send it to pipe. And wc will read from the pipe. What it will read? Whatever T has sent. But what T has sent? The whatever it has received from the pipe. T doesn't do any other processing. It just receives from the pipe. Uh, one copy it writes to my file list. Another copy it puts on the pipe. So WC what it has read? The list of files. So it will count the number of lines. So the list of files, if it counts the number of lines, it becomes the number of files in the current directory. Hence, it this is output the output is 25, the number of files is 25, we can understand. My file list, it has stored in the my file list also. With this, we have come to the end of today's session. If you like the video, you can share it because sharing is caring. If you are yet to subscribe, for getting notifications, you can subscribe. And for getting updates, you can click on the bell icon. Thank you. See you in the next class. Take care. Bye-bye.